Yo, Vase Octa here. So we did get more information regarding the beta for Diablo 4. And they updated an article talking about Fracture Peaks um, events within that. The times for the world boss, the times for the open beta download, and the community live stream. They also mentioned uh, the PC specs. I believe they updated that part. And also the forums of um, where you can post in bugs and comments and stuff like that. Anyway, let's just get in here. Discover Fracture Peaks. So pretty much summarizing this, they pretty much just talking about the this city here. I'm not going to pronounce these names. I have problem pronouncing them. But there's going to be like the basic base of operation where you can upgrade your gear, repair, stuff, etc. Then they talk about the main quest line and multiple acts, but obviously it was going to be max level 25, right? But they mentioned side quests all over Fracture Peaks. And then they specifically mentioned this one. And obviously the altars would actually give you buffs when you actually interact with them okay then they go into war events and legion events these are both optional war events is like the shorter uh quicker one take a few minutes you do other players in there um then we have legion events which is like the harder one make sure you're ready for it and some of them actually require you to conquer a strong for, for actually get to see it okay and they give high risk high reward kind of thing then they talk about dungeons or dungeons and past diablo games but here we go. World bosses. The first, obviously in the dev stream, live stream, if you guys didn't watch it or whatever, or see my video, they did mention a world boss that we're going to have. And they actually have the times for this. March 18th, 10 a.m., 12 p.m., 10 p.m., and midnight Pacific time. So it's pretty much 10, 12 in the morning and 10, 12 at night uh, Pacific time. And same thing for March 25th, so the Saturdays, pretty much, of the open beta and early access beta. 10 a.m., 12 p.m., 10 p.m., midnight. All right. And then we get down here to the beta specs. Uh, I, To be honest, I didn't actually look too deep into this. But you have a red note here that you do not need the PlayStation Plus or Xbox Live Gold to be able to play the open beta or the early access. But... During launch, you do need them to actually access the multiplayer features. Now we get the open beta early download times. So we can start downloading on Wednesday. Today is March 13, the time of this video. So two days from now, which is a Wednesday at 9 a.m. Pacific time, you can actually download it if you have early access. If you have the open beta download, um, it will begin at March 22nd, 9 a.m. Obviously, if you have early access already you don't need to download it i'm assuming they just flip a switch that you can use the druid and the necro then all right and then we get down here you can share your journeys in the forum starting march 17th and obviously here at the end this is the last one march 24th at 11 a.m they'll have their community play live stream and that's it for the article hopefully you guys enjoyed this summarizing video of the changes that at least i noticed i may have missed something let me know and I'll be streaming pretty much when it starts as well. Um, both both weekends. I took the day off. So I hopefully see you guys then. Check out my socials down below in the description. And I'll see you guys later. Later days.